Member for Ottawa South. Monsieur le Président. Mr. Speaker, there's no plan, no regulation, no price on carbon, nor carbon exchange system. Provinces and corporations are left to their own devices. Don't expect anything from us, they say, before everyone else has made a decision. A G8 statement, first endorsed and then repudiated. China is criticized by the minister and a prime minister who avoids the UN. Should we be surprised that an expert now calls Canada's participation in Copenhagen insignificant? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Do not to expect anything from Mr. Speaker, and that's the Liberal Party. This is the party that signed Kyoto, then declined to implement it, Mr. Speaker. This is the party that... So that this is the party who took an NDP bill, voted for it, stood in this House, voted for an NDP bill, then called it a publicity stunt, Mr. Speaker. This is the party that signed an agreement with the coalition partners for a North American approach and then tried to graft on European standards. This is the party that campaigned on a carbon tax, disavowed it, then voted for it at their convention. <laughs> Where do they stand, Mr. Speaker? Order, please. The Honourable Member for Ottawa South. Order. I, I swore I heard George Bush there for a second. <laughs> EDC tells us the environmental and clean energy technology market exceeds $1 trillion a year. 100% of South Korea's stimulus package is green. China's 50%. United States, 35%. Ernst & Young tells us we're way behind in our ability to attract investment for clean technology and renewable power. When will the Prime Minister understand that his lack of leadership and his irresponsible approach to climate change is one of the largest roadblocks to Canadian economic growth? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Uh, I just returned from Copenhagen as one of uh, 20 ministers who was invited by the chair of the Copenhagen process to try to lend form and substance to what's going on at Copenhagen. And we are a constructive player. We will try to get to an international agreement. But I'm not going to stand in this chamber, Mr. Speaker, and take lectures from Liberals on Kyoto and on Copenhagen and climate change, Mr. Speaker, because they did nothing. They signed the Kyoto Protocol, which was ill-suited to this country, to our geography, to our climate. It would undermine our industrial basis. They're in favor of a carbon tax, and no one where knows where they stand on Bill C-311, Mr. Speaker. They vote for it, they disallow it, they call it a tiddlywink bill, and they still vote for it.